Hey everybody and welcome back, playing some Chivalry. Content update came out today, so I wanted to do a video showing Capture the Flag and also the map Frigid because it's got some- oh no, I'm gonna kill- <laughs> I'm so sorry. So, as you can see, there are some death traps on this map. And that's a team kill. Luckily, it doesn't show up on the kill feed, so he had no idea that I did that. But yes, you have the boulders on each side that you trigger by hitting them. And you also have these things. Uh, well, let me try to deal with these guys right quick. Oh, look at that. That was a nice throw. But uh, yeah, you trigger the rope. It closes that in, and I kill another teammate. I am very good at killing my teammates. So yeah, they automatically reset after a certain amount of time. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but they are incredibly fun, and they uh, create some very silly situations. I've seen people that get into uh, some random fights, and they, you know, back up like you would normally do. You back up to create some space, and they walk right into that thing and smash themselves. And it's fantastic. Oh, Jesus. Did I just... Well, I hit a teammate with my axe, but luckily, uh, my throwing axe, but I didn't kill him. That's my teammate. I'm on blue team! I'm on blue team. I need to remember that. I am very stupid right now. <laughs> you know, sometimes you lose your train of thought. But, uh, yeah, playing CTF, as you can see, uh, the enemy flag is orange. Our flag is blue. If it's picked up, you'll see a icon from the other team. So if we pick up theirs, you'll see a blue icon. Uh... Uh, under so, under the uh, the orange icon, just letting you know that somebody has picked it up. If if somebody has the flag, it's all it, it all it shows you where they are at all times. Um, hold on, let me try to kill this guy. I'm just gonna focus for just a second. He's using the uh, the quarter staff weapon, the new one for the uh, the man at arms. I'm using the pole hammer, but yeah, it's pretty simple. You pick up the flag. Your flag has to be at your base for you to capture, and it's first to three. The game lasts, I think, like 20 minutes uh, is the default timer or until three flag caps. So you can see right now that we have their flag. Let me help. Oh, no, I got run over by the boulder. Well, that's payback because that was definitely a teammate that did that. So <laughs> Already died three times. It's great. But yeah, the pole hammer is the, the new weapon for the Vanguard, which is usually my class of choice. And the reason I like it so much is now that it gives... A vanguard, a weapon that can um, crush somebody's skull, and that is just always fantastic. I love every time that I saw a uh, a knight to do that with his hammer. I'm like, wow! I really wish that I had a weapon to do that without having to play a knight, and now I do. So I've been playing around with it. It's um, it's kind of hard to get used to because its speed is really slow, and I'm used to playing with the bill hook, which is a pretty quick weapon. And I'm going to die here. Uh, yes, I'm dead. I am stupid. See, this is what happens. Sometimes I, when I'm trying to talk, I just completely lose all focus on what's going on. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty... I don't know the reach of this weapon. For some reason, it doesn't display it when you choose it in the menu. I don't know if there's a, uh, if I look in, like, the, um... I j Oh, my God. You gotta be kidding me. That's twice now that I've gotten run over by that because a teammate triggered it. It's gonna happen the entire game now because I asked for it pretty much by triggering it onto another teammate at the beginning. I'm just gonna completely avoid that area now. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna run to the right instead of the left. Oh wait, there are two boulders on each side. I didn't know that. I did not realize that there are two. Well, let's just completely stay out of the way of that. Good lord. But uh, I, I like it. I like being able to smash somebody's head, but it's really hard getting used to the speed. Uh, because it's like, is it 40 something percent? It's pretty nice though. It's got a it's got a decent amount of reach, and the the biggest thing that uh, that was changed that is really really nice and and makes the fights a little more dynamic is uh, the ability to hey hit your teammates. <laughs> you know, smart people. Hold on, let me deal with this for a second here. But uh, you can change the direction of your swing. By default, it's set to left alt. Did I really just get run over by another goddamn boulder? It was past me. It was past me. I didn't see my name in the kill feed unless it just... No, because it wouldn't have disappeared that quickly, right? Good God. But uh, by default, it's left alt. 
but I changed it to V because left alt is a weird thing to hit for me uh, with my thumb, so I just changed that. So you can swing from left to right now instead of right to left if you hold down uh, whatever key you designate it to and it's really nice because usually I'll um to like fake somebody out I'll start an attack like this fake it and then uh, Well, you know not like that fake it and then go the other way And it's also good for getting around people's shields because shields are always held in the left hand if I'm not mistaken so um, It allows you to kind of circumvent that a little bit and it's nice. I've gotten some really decent kills with it No, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fist fight with you <laughs> I'm sorry, that's not happening. Also, a big change is uh, having blood decals on the ground. They will s uh, splatter all over the ground. And also, you can change this. You can uh, have a slider inside of your video options that allows you to increase the length of time that a rag doll is on the ground, and also um, the length of time that blood decals are on the ground. So. By, but before I think it was probably like a body stayed on the ground for no more than like 10 seconds But now you can increase it to like 240 I wouldn't recommend that unless you have like a 690 or something and it and a really Nice processor or else your game is gonna fucking tank like crazy I put it on 60 at first and then what I did to test it out was I went into a bot game uh, for, oh, I didn't realize that I thought that was just a teammate fucking around behind me But no, it was somebody actually on the other team. I just didn't notice them, but uh, let's see What did I do? I played free-for-all with like 32 bots or something plus myself and uh, Just tested to see how quickly my frame rate would tank and <laughs> It only took a few minutes for there to be enough bodies on the ground with a 60 second timer for the uh, Things to despawn before like it was overwhelming and my frame rate was tanking so I decreased it to like 45 seconds, and on most servers that I play on, that's fine. I haven't had any frame rate tanks, and it's uh, I mean the o the only reason that I like it is is it keeps the bodies on the ground long enough for me to uh, see stupid shit that happens. Like if a if a ragdoll does something pretty hilarious, sometimes I don't get the chance to see it or put it on on screen when I uh, uh, if I'm recording before it disappears. So I like having the slider on and activated so I can. Uh, make sure I get those little moments on screen and also you can create some pretty large piles of fucking people God damn it. I heard it coming. I had no time to move out of the way Somehow I'm still going six and ten. I can try to get myself to go even are we we are not winning right now I need to get over play a little bit of the objective and try to get these flags captured I'm gonna go help my teammate that already well never mind. He doesn't have it anymore but let's work on this or get hit by archers There we go. I'm just gonna run around this way. Hope well somebody is chasing me And I'm gonna be screwed probably, you know more than likely I am dead But we will work on it. <laughs> Please keep hitting your teammate. I would appreciate that. Okay one guy down And a block and a hit there we go. Hey, I crushed somebody's skull that time. Oh, no, we lost yeah, yeah, well, you know, <laughs> Man, I'll probably keep playing this and actually take it really seriously. I was just trying to go through all of the motions and, and talk about everything that was changed in the game and, uh, you know, some things didn't work out. Well, I guess we'll just play another match here. I don't see why not, because that was only like, it couldn't have been more than 10 minutes and, and it was over, so. Um, Option. Wait, there's like nobody in this server, is there? Good God. Well, let me try to find another goddamn game. Jesus Christ. Well, I guess we'll uh, see if there are any. Yeah, this will work. I failed to join server. Don't do this to me, game. I just want to play. Please. Oh my God. You gotta be kidding me. I think my internet, my internet has been tanking on me today over and over again and I think that's what's happening now because no servers are showing up I think my internet's just crapping out which is always fantastic you know you try to show off something and it's like no you're not you're not allowed fucking time warner you're a piece of shit you really are well it looks like that's all I'm gonna be able to do for now I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you later